Legend has it that René Descartes came up with a Cartesian plane system while on his bed. While in his room, he observed a fly on the ceiling. He thought about how to describe the position of the fly using numbers and one of the corners of the room as a point of reference. He used the square tiles on his ceiling to define the position of the fly. He counted the number of horizontal boxes from the point of reference and then the vertical boxes from there to the fly's position. The horizontal steps became the horizontal axis and the vertical steps became the vertical axis. The two axes are like two number lines which are placed perpendicular to each other like this. They meet each other at the zero mark, which is the point of reference or the origin. The horizontal axis is the X axis, while the vertical axis is the Y axis. The Cartesian coordinate is used to represent functions. A function is a simple mathematical relationship between variables. A function is said to be linear whenever the power of the independent variable is one or zero. Generally speaking, we represent linear equations as y equals mx plus c. m is the slope or gradient and c is called the intercept. Both m and c are constants, that is, they have a fixed value for a given straight line. Now, let's consider an example of the linear function y equals 3x plus 2. To draw a graph of this line, we need to look for the points the line will pass through on the Cartesian plane. And to do this, we need to look for the values of y as the values of x change. It is best to do this using a table where the rows are for each term of the function, starting with x, then the first term, the intercept, and finally y. Next, we fill the first row of the table with the range of x. These are otherwise known as the values of x that we will be considering. For our example, we will take the range of x to be minus 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. This includes minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So our table looks like the one on your screen. Next, we fill the next row with values of 3x. For minus 2, 3x is minus 6. For minus 1, 3x is minus 3. For 0, 3x is 0. For 1, 3x is 3. And for 2, 3x is 6. To fill the next row, you'll observe that plus 2 is a constant, so it does not change as x changes. The table can then be filled to get plus two all through, as you can see on the screen. Now, remember that y equals three x plus two. So all we need to do is add row two and row three, because row two stands for three x, and row three stands for plus two. Therefore, we have minus six plus two, which equals minus four. Minus three plus two equals minus one. Zero plus two equals two. Three plus two equals five. And six plus two equals eight. Now that our table is filled, we just bring out the rows X and Y in a separate table, and this table is used to plot the graph of the function. We have come to the end of this lesson, and in the next, we will be plotting the graph of the linear function. Remember to keep practicing.
See you in the next lesson.